Hey everybody, Darilly here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Nor 9 Var Commons. We are now starting um, Nanami and Heishi's route, since we have finished with uh, Koharu and Kakeru. And uh, we'll be skipping any things that we have already done. Unfortunately, I had recorded two episodes, uh, and I didn't realize that my sound settings were off. So I have to re-record this, and it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to pinpoint the text that was not read before. But then again, it really kind of had me re-go over again some things that we had already read before. So I'm going to be skipping things that we have already read, and but it's going to have to be by memory. So hopefully I will be able to remember it all pretty well. Alright, so anyway, we're skipping to the first choice. Where we will go make breakfast with Nanami. If I said I'd go with this weirdo, I bet the others would immediately start laughing at me. What? I like cooking. I'll go help you make breakfast for everyone. You don't have to. We have enough people. Okay then, I'll go help look for a room. Wait, are you any good at cooking? I can cook simple things, yes. I've made my own dinner plenty of times. I don't need a child to help. I don't need any assistance with cooking. Don't worry about a room. I'll find a suitable space for you, I promise. Feel free to go on and help with the cooking. Great. That sounds like a plan. What a nice room! The bed looks all fluffy and soft. Suzuhara, which side of the bed do you want? The window side? The front side? Uh, it's okay. I'll go sleep on the couch. Oh no, you can't do that. You'll catch a cold. Which is generally bedtime for someone who is still classified as a minor like myself. Early rest is good for the brain. It boosts growth hormones, stimulates the hippocampus. Wait, some of this we can skip. <laughs> the Hiyo cook. He's cheerfully singing as he cooks. I'm still in the dream. I come to the dining hall. Once again, nothing that bore any resemblance to anything from the Taisho era was visible in either the furnishings or the construction. I wasn't alone here either. Some people I knew, and some that I didn't, sat or stood nearby. I knew Nanami, but... I remember meeting this guy yesterday, but I don't remember his name. What was it again? It's Heishi, Otomaru. Thank you very much. Hey, she, o, to, maru. Maybe you'll remember it next time. I knew that. I'm right here, you know. You didn't need to yell. Liar! You were so totally staring at me like, who's this random guy again? A second ago, I saw it in your face. Caught me. Whatever. What do I care about him anyway? Besides, I get the impression that of the two of us, I am by far the smarter one. You know, you're really starting to piss me off, kid. He heard that, buddy. <laughs> then there's... That's an aloof Hyoko. <laughs> 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 The guy who's terrified of the Hyokos. Hey, I don't gotta be a mind reader to pick up on that. You're totally thinking crap about me, ain't you? Why is the Hyoko mad? <laughs> He's still jumping at their every move. This is Akito Shukuri, by the way. If you are curious, his name means he who brings light. His parents hoped he would be one to bring the light of hope to this dark world. Shut it, you. Don't you go making up stuff about me. Whoa, what a great name. You should be sure to thank your parents next time you see them. I just told you she made that crap up. D she did? That's amazing. You can create stories for people's names on the spot? I just make something up. Well, quit making dumb stories out of my name. I knew it. She did just make up that light across the seven seas or whatever maritimey nonsense about her name yesterday. What a weird hobby. Oh yeah, then there's that guy in the sunglasses over there. 
He looks creepy and suspicious. I agree. He looks a lot like the character they put up on the You Wear of Strangers posters at school. <laughs> eh? So, how's she gonna introduce me? Oh, I can't wait to find out. Oh, let me come up with a history for Ron's name. He, so, he's Ron, right? Ron Muraboshi. Ron Muraboshi. Ron Muraboshi. Um, Muraboshi. Muraboshi. Hmm. Ron. Ron, Ron, Ron Muraboshi. Uh, um, well, I can't think of anything. I give up. Uh, it's okay. You said it so many times that I don't need a story to remember it anymore. Really? Oh. Well, if you remember it now, that's good enough for me. Good to meet you, kid. Um, my name's Sorato Suzuhara. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Creepy. His eyes are hidden behind his sunglasses, so I can't tell if that smile is genuine. Why are you wearing sunglasses indoors? Huh? Oh, these. Well, a friend of mine told me I have a creepy face, so I should use them to cover up. <laughs> you call that person a friend? Yeah, wasn't that a jerk thing to say? Ron's such a super nice guy, too. Oh, really? He sure doesn't look like it. Come on, quit downing him. It's just like they say, don't judge a book by its cover. Uh, well, yeah, I guess. Hmm, wait a second. Was it me, or was there something odd about what he just said? When it comes to judging someone's character, Otomaru makes no mistakes. Yep, we're all nice people. So, let's all be friends, okay? <laughs> that one is really peeping a lot. What's wrong with it? It wants us to quit fooling around and make breakfast. Crap, we're getting short on time. We might not be done in time. Why can't the Hyoko cook just cook everything? Oh right, they said something about how teams rotate responsibilities for chores and such. Today's breakfast is supposed to be grilled fish, fried eggs, and miso soup, right? Fish, eggs, and miso soup. That's a very standard Japanese breakfast. Alrighty then. Huh? What are you doing? Getting my bowl of rice. You should probably grab one quick too. Now? But the rest of breakfast isn't done. Let us begin. I shall fillet the fish. What the heck? Where did you get that kunai? And what did you say you were going to do with it? I am filleting a fish. Otomaru, ready it. You got it! Yeah. There, perfect! Now I'll grill them up nice and juicy. Hmm, what to put on them? Oh, I know! Sugar! Sweet stuff is always good! Sugar on fish? Ah, that was way too much! Wait! What do you think you're doing putting sugar on grilled fish in the first place? Huh? Whoops! The bag is empty. I better go find another bag of sugar. Next, the miso soup. Lizard tails are high in protein, so we'll add those, and some of these demon killer greens. What are you doing? Stop! Can't we just make normal miso soup? Lizard tails and demon killer greens? Are you trying to mix potions? There! That should do it! Come on, everybody! Get your rice bowls ready! Wait, plain white rice is too bland. We should definitely add some of this for flavor. Um, what is that red liquid? The rice doesn't need any extra flavorings. Oh no, I forgot to actually cook the fish. You know what, I dumped a ton of sugar on them, so they'll be just fine. <laughs> oh, they made Hiyo cook sad. I wish someone, anyone, would walk in here right now. I would grab them by the shirt and demand to know why these two morons are being allowed anywhere near food. Ugh, every freaking time. You two idiots find ways to cook something even more disgusting than before. You better clean all this crap up. You there, kid. You know how to cook, right? Um, hmm? Er, some, yes. Did he hear that from that cockadoo person? 
Will, get over here and help. Huh? Wait, don't tell me he's going to cook. He looks more like a thug than a chef. You've got a terrible poker face, kid. Quit staring. Yeah, I can cook. Well, I can cook better than those two whack jobs, at least. Take it off the heat for a sec before putting the miso in. Let it dissolve all the way. Okay. For the final touch, grate some daikon to go with the fried egg. Well, I had my answer to what kind of meal the delinquent chef could cook. A really good one. Each dish looked beautiful and tantalizing aromas wafted all over the entire hall. Don't judge a book by its cover indeed. Ah, Hyokook is happy. And he's gonna scare the crap out of Akito. <laughs> the delinquent who can cook and is terrified of baby birds. I'll have to remember that. Crap, we're gonna have to wait for another batch of rice to steam up. Oh well. Oh, is it done? Cool, I'm starved. Oi, stop right there. I tell you every damn time, wait for everyone else before you start cramming food in your face. Time to eat. Uh... Shukuri, you didn't put anything good in this. I'm worried about the nutritional content. Um, can't you put a little more sugar in this? It's not really sweet enough. That's enough, both of you. <laughs> well, aren't you the lucky one? You got to do nothing but eat. Yep, just maxing and relaxing. Everybody here is just the best. You all are good people. I hope you make friends with them soon, too. What? Once you get used to it, it's actually really fun living here. We're glad to have you aboard. Um, thanks. That's a first. No one's ever been happy I was around before. <gasps> What's going on? Is this an earthquake? What the? Them again? Damn! We haven't even done anything! Them? Them who? Uh, I think we should run and get to shelter. Uh, where would be safest? Here is good. The barrier is only busted up on the roof. Here on the bottom floor is safest. Y yeah good point. An explosion rumbled. It sounded like it came from far above us. The area we were in didn't seem to be in any immediate danger. But that doesn't mean we're exactly safe. Is someone attacking the ship? If so, why? Uh oh. Yoiga's team could be on the roof. They said they were going there today. What? No way! <laughs> yes, as an apology for my earlier actions, I'd like to give you a tour of the ship. Really? Damn it. I'll go too. Nope. Uh-uh. Pretty girl should stay here. Let go of me. At the moment Akito sprinted out of the door, another explosion sounded. I couldn't tell from where, but it seemed much closer than before. Uh-oh. We could be in some serious trouble. If something happens to the ship while we're in the air, we're in for one long, long fall. A cold shiver worked its way up my spine. At the same time, all the light left Nanami's eyes. She had been shivering with fright a moment ago, but now she had all the expression of a doll. Why? Everyone is in mortal danger right now, including her. How strange. But the purple glass of her eyes held no answer. They simply stared blankly into the distance. And so the story turns to her, which is Nanami in this case. And we'll keep her name. All people have sinned, be it in great or small ways. All people hide their pain in their hearts. Do you understand this, Nanami? 
gods do not exist. Even if they did, they do nothing to save mankind. If the gods did create humans, then they are also the ones that created sadness and pain. Do you understand? Nanami, wh what ways do you think there are for removing pain and sadness from the world? There exists only one true way. Your powers. Chapter 1 on, now! Snap out of it! Pull yourself together! Please! Nanami! Nanami. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What was that? It sounded seriously not good, you know? Do you think a part of the ship got wrecked? I wouldn't be surprised given how loud that boom was. Oh hey, you're awake now, Nanami? Yes. We're in an emergency situation here. Don't go zoning out on us like that, okay? I didn't. Yes, you did. You were totally lost to the world just now. Nope, didn't happen. Yeah, be in denial. Uh, okay, okay. Anyways, there might be more shaking, so find something sturdy to hang on to until we know it's safe. Like Ron, for example. He's big and sturdy. Go hang on to him. <laughs> Good thinking, Aishi. No. Aw, oh, can't you stop being so stubborn? Uh, guys? Don't I get to have any say on all this? Guys? Oh, well. Suzuhara, are you okay? Everyone get in here fast. The attack isn't over yet. This is the safest place for us to ride it out. Shukuri. Oh jeez, this is really freaking me out. We got everyone? No, Miss Mikoto went up to the roof. Uh. Well, what? But that's dangerous! That's where it sounded like that big boom came from. If she goes up there... Oh, you're the new girl, right? You really are tiny and cute. I like the cute ones. Calm down, miss. Mikoto will be fine. Really? You mean it? Yes. I made sure to tell her she is to come back to us, no matter what anybody says. Huh? No matter what who says? And you both completely ignored me. Oh, poor me, poor me. What? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! Oh no, it's okay. By the way, it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss No Name. I'm Itsuki Kagami. Oh, it's nice to meet you too, Mr. Itsuki. Oh, I can't wait to get to Itsuki. I want to play him so bad. Oi, Kagami, could you cram it in your pants for literally two seconds? Think about surviving, not procreating. Oh, I was just introducing myself. Jeez. Why is it whenever I speak to a lady, everybody always jumps straight to the worst assumptions? Mikoto's power is the power to protect. Hey, you okay? You look like you're getting ready to zone out again. It's nothing. You think it's over? Who knows? Hang on, I'll go check real quick. No, allow me. Mikoto! Why are you looking at me like that? Please tell me that you are not wasting your time worrying about me. Are you okay? Are you hurt at all? Uh, thank goodness you're safe and sound. I was so worried when I heard you'd gone up to the roof. Worrying about me is utterly pointless. It, it is? Yes, I have used my powers to protect countless people already. Protecting a ship or two of this size is a trivial matter for me. Yeah, they call her the guardian of the nation for a reason, you know. Man, you got the cool powers, Kuga. Oh, now I see. Thank you very much for protecting us, Amikoto. Huh. The power to protect. How impressive. Uh... Is the second floor the only area that got hit hard? How is the rest of the ship? All the shaking probably knocked some things off the shelves, but that should be it. 
My room door. <laughs> hey, is something wrong? N no, it's nothing. Never mind. Uh, right. I guess we better go check on everything, right? Who knows, maybe something else besides the second floor got damaged. Did anybody report this to the world yet? Yes, it's been reported. Our orders are to address the situation internally. Huh. Quit bugging us and go clean up your own damn mess, eh? Typical. Kugo was at the same situation as last time. Solo attacker, same guy. Yes, it was the same young-looking man. The intruder is not an esper, am I right? As far as I can tell, he is not. He uses odd mechanical devices that I have not seen before, but I doubt he possesses power like us. Understood. So, we are all out of imminent danger now, correct? Yes, we are safe for now. As long as I am here, everyone is safe. That's good to hear. As our next task, I suggest we send a group to fix the second floor and another group to survey the rest of the ship for any damage that was incurred. Our team will handle the cleanup. Heishi, please take your team to assess the rest of the ship. Oh, and I think this should go without saying, but this is an emergency situation. You've been given orders. Do not deviate from them, got it? Roger, Wilco! Come on, guys, let's get scaling! Come on, Suzuhara! Let's go together! Uh, okay. So, we get patrol duty, eh? What exactly does that mean we gotta do, anyway? I want to check up top first. There might be damage that needs immediate action. True! That was a freaking loud boom, after all! The roof it is, then! What? Not coming? Shut your mouth. Don't talk to me. Okay, whatever. Whoa! Holy crap! Check that out! Wowza. That was one seriously thick wall, too. Whatever did that packs a big punch. Yeah, and it must have punched straight through one of Mikoto's barriers, too. Jeez, who the heck is it we're up against here? Mikoto's barrier broken, but that shouldn't be possible. Man, I still can't really accept that there are actually powers out there that can pull off something like this. It wasn't powers, dumbass. Weren't you listening? Fancy girl said it was some dude who was using some weird device. Oh yeah, she did say that, didn't she? Anyways, Akito, man, do you have ice in your veins? You don't look surprised at all. What? Nah, I passed by this when I left the dining hall earlier. I've already seen everything. The attacker isn't an esper. So, with those devices, even normal people can cause damage on this scale. Well, there's a giant hole in the wall, but at least the fields look okay. <laughs> well, glad you're having fun, Ron. Huh? Oh, I was just thinking how lucky we were. Lucky? We get mixed up in all this crap and you think we're lucky? You get hit in the head or something? If whatever did this happened in the dining hall instead, we'd all be dead. <laughs> so why didn't it go off in the dining hall? What was the point of destroying this wall? If they meant to kill us, they would have used this in places where we'd all tended to gather together. Was there some reason they couldn't? It's a big-ass ship. They probably don't know where the dining hall was. We all live here, and we barely know where the crap is, you know? Ah! None of this makes any sense to me! How about we just let, let Kakeru handle off the hard, thinky stuff, and just do our survey, okay? Someone used some device and it broke a hole in the wall, right through Mikoto's barrier. The location chosen was apparently random. Hey, guys. What? Does anything seem, I don't know, weird about that hole to you? Yeah, 
maybe it's just me then. Never mind. The ship's roof. It was the same scenery as always. Pink cherry blossoms dancing in the wind. The roof first, eh? This place is so damn huge. This is going to be such a pain in the ass. What? Why all the shouting, man? Check the ceiling! It's seriously busted up! Man, even Mikoto's barrier can't stand up to those mystery devices! Jeez, are you really that stupid? Seriously, the ceiling's been like this since we got on the ship. What? It was? Otomaru, we don't need the comic relief act right now. Try and be serious. I wasn't trying to be funny. I just haven't come up here much since I came aboard, so I guess I forgot. Oh, right. You did just get aboard not long ago. Yeah, and when I first arrived, you all totally doubted whether or not I was really an esper, too. Ah, uh, yes. All of this is true. First me, then Sarata and that nameless girl. You guys really haven't gotten any better about, you know, common courtesy and proper greetings. Most of us got chucked on here by the world's lackeys. So yeah, we're going to be super suspicious when someone just waltzes in here all on their own. For the millionth time, I got lost, okay? Same goes for that dumb chick. She's got to be seriously lacking in the brains department if she actually volunteered to come. Moroboshi, who seemed pretty disinterested the whole time, suddenly turned to Shukuri with a confused look on his face. What? Don't like taking orders from the world? I don't like taking orders from anybody, up to and including the world. I don't give a rat's ass about world peace either. Huh? What about you? Hmm? I... The world has sent orders requiring your presence. Apparently it means to use your powers for world peace. Go, but remember one thing. The only one who can make the best use of your powers is me. We must all obey the will of the world. If we don't, then we are no better than criminals or rebels. Damn, you're cold. So you'll do anything you're ordered to, no problem, eh? Think what you will. Hey! Where are you going? Duh, we ain't done surveying the damage yet. God! We were told not to deviate and wander off on our own, too! Oh well. I'll go with Akito and check out the third floor. You two handle the roof, okay? Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Man, you sure don't get along with, um, what's this face over there? Akito Shukuri, you should be able to remember that by now. <laughs> Great, Muroboshi, I've been left alone with the weirdest one. <laughs> it's mean. Hey, uh, I was listening to you talk a minute ago, and it sounds like you're kind of being deliberately cold to people. I just speak my mind, that's all. I don't care much what others think of me. Listen, I don't really have as bad an opinion of you as that guy makes it sound like, you know? I mean, you got friends, right? You know, loyal puppy dog and playboy dude. Heishi Otomaru and Itsuki Kagami. Yeah, them. Anybody who's got friends can't be all that bad, right? We aren't friends. Once we reach our destination, we will be sent our separate ways. We don't need to be friends. Yeah, that's true. Making friends with someone and then having to leave them can be pretty sad. But hey, you're all young. What's wrong with making friends anyway? Just because you weren't together doesn't make you not friends anymore. So, you want to try being friends with me? If you can say my name. Huh? Um. Uh, 
I hate two kinds of people. I hate people who make up everything that they say. I also hate people who can't be bothered to remember my name. Ah, uh, Nanami, you make up a lot of things too about people's names. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. Talking to this man is painful. Ron Muroboshi. He arrived on the ship before even I did, yet he remembers no one's names. According to Otomaru, he isn't bad at heart, and Otomaru is a good judge of character. Additionally, Muroboshi is my elder, and elders deserve respect. Uh, can we take a break yet? We haven't even been up here ten minutes. True, so like an hour break then? Elder or not, I cannot respect someone this lazy. Oh, you say something? I think my inner voice got out. Just ignore it and get to work. Nothing seems out of place up here. Mikoto, she came up here and fended off the attacker with her power alone. Hey, guys! The third floor's checked out. We're moving on. We'll be on the second floor, okay? A voice echoed directly inside my head. Even should I cover my ears, I would still hear it. That is Otomoru's power. Nanami, can you hear me? Telepathy, eh? The power to send your voice directly into the minds of multiple people. That's gotta be handy. Letting your own inner voice leak out to those around you is nothing but a weakness. Oh? Uh, letting it leak out? Wait, don't tell him he doesn't have control over his own powers. He says he does, but if that were true, we wouldn't hear him mumble in his sleep from halfway across the ship at night. <laughs> yeah, now that you mention it. Since he didn't ask for a response, I'll take that to mean he doesn't need help. Ah, <sighs> why bother with the second floor? Yuiga and the others are already there. Once we reach the second floor, the one thing that immediately jumped out was the wall of the vines, where the hole used to be. Yuiga must have used his powers here. However, everything is cleaned up, except for the vines. You would never know there used to be a giant hole. That didn't take nearly long enough. Something isn't right. Hey guys! I really thought we should check out the second floor, but Akidu said we didn't have to because everybody else is there. So he dragged me down to the first floor. Uh, do you two mind coming down here too? There, see? Waste of a trip. Moraboshi, earlier you said something seemed weird about the damage. What did you mean? Oh, uh, did I? Yes. Um, hmm, I forget. Maybe if you tell me what you're thinking, I'll jog something loose. He remembers, I can tell. He's trying to fish for my thoughts. Is he hoping what he thinks will be disproved? On the roof, Mikoto's barriers withstood a direct assault without breaking. Yet a barrier powerful enough to repel direct strikes was broken here. A hole was opened in the wall, but there was little surrounding damage. Yeah. The only thing I can think of is... Yeah? What, can't bring yourself to say it? Here, I'll do it for you. <laughs> Muroboshi's words matched my own conclusion. I wasn't even given time to think that my own theory was outlandish before my unsettling conclusion was confirmed. Disturbed, I said nothing for a long minute. Say, you're looking awfully pale. You okay? It's nothing. Someone needs to hear this, but who? Who can I trust? Anyway, let's say we mosey on, eh? Don't tell this to Otomaru or Shukuri. What? They'll trust him? Oh, that's not your style. You gotta be trying to protect him. 
Think what you want, it makes no difference to me. Jeez, there you two are, finally. You sure took your sweet ass time. <laughs> Sorry. Now that we're all together again, let's go. Okay, and this is where I'm going to have to end this video, and I hope that I'll see you in my next video or some of my other future videos. I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscription, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, I really appreciate it, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.